ServiceMate makes it easy to create and send invoices, accept payments, and track unpaid invoices, all in the same system you managed the job from day one. You can then approve each job's invoice and payment details through to your Xero, QuickBooks Online, or MYOB account, streamlining your reconciliation and avoiding double entry. Understanding the invoicing page is really important to this workflow. You can manage all your invoicing in one place using the dedicated invoicing page here in the online dashboard and here in the app. The invoicing page is accessible to staff with a business owner or finance role. The first thing to remember is that a job will only appear in the invoicing page once its status is completed. It doesn't matter whether an invoice has been generated on the job, if an invoice has been sent, or if a payment has been recorded, a job will not appear in the invoicing page until it's completed. The second thing to remember is that when you're connected to Xero, QuickBooks Online, or MYOB, the Approve button is what sends a job's invoice details through to your accounting app. See our separate guidance about ServiceMate and accounting for more detail on how this connection works. So, on a day-to-day -day basis, once all work on a job is done and it's ready to be invoiced, you should update its status to complete it. You can do this on site by checking out of the job and tapping job complete, or simply updating the job status here, or online here, or here. Once completed, it will appear in the invoicing page, ready for review and approval to your accounting software. Here, Completed jobs move through three stages, being awaiting approval, awaiting payment, and paid. A job will only show in one of these tabs at once. First, awaiting approval. This is where a job will appear after it's been completed, but before it's been approved to your accounting software. Keep in mind, this can be a mix of invoices which are paid and unpaid, sent and yet to be sent. A completed job won't move from this stage until it's approved. Second, awaiting payment. This is for jobs which have been approved but still have a balance due. Jobs will remain here until they're fully paid. And third, paid, being jobs which have been paid in full. Once approved and fully paid, a job will remain in the paid tab for two weeks after which it will be archived. These archived jobs are always a quick search away in the jobs list, in your job history, or the client's history. It's very similar in the invoicing menu of the app, where you can see the same completed jobs under awaiting approval, awaiting payment, and paid. You can tap to approve or receive a payment. Let's go through some examples. For a completed job in awaiting approval, where the invoice is sent, but the client hasn't paid it yet, if you approve it to your accounting software, it will move to awaiting payment and remain there until full payment has been taken or recorded, after which it will move to paid. On the other hand, for a job where the invoice is sent and it's been fully paid, if you approve it to your accounting software, it will move straight to paid. It's common to use the awaiting approval stage and the act of approving the invoice as a checkpoint for steps in your invoicing workflow, such as reviewing the billable items on the invoice, sending the invoice, or checking for payment. Now that we've covered how the invoicing page works and when a job's invoice details are sent to your accounting software, you can think about creating some workflows which suit your business. Let's check out some different options. Option A, taking payment on site. The ideal workflow is one where you empower your technicians to invoice and take payment on site wherever possible. It's great for efficiency, cash flow, customer service, and finalizing administration the same day. So in this scenario, you check out of the job on site, finalize your billable items, take payment, generate a paid invoice, 
then send it to the client before heading to your next job. With a finance role, if you switch this on, you can even approve the invoice details through to your accounting software as part of the checkout process. The job status is automatically updated to completed, it's paid, the invoice is sent, and it's approved, so it'll go straight to the paid tab of the invoicing page. And that's it. All that's left to do is reconcile the invoice in your accounting software. So think about that. If you rinse and repeat this process for every technician on every job, every day of every week, think about how much time it could save your business and what it could do for your cash flow, your efficiency, your productivity, your professionalism, and your customer service. Now, if you don't approve the invoice as part of the checkout process, it'll appear in the awaiting approval tab of the invoicing page, and the responsible person can review and approve it separately in the app or online. Option B, invoicing on site. Clients aren't always around or able to pay on the spot. So in this scenario, you could check out of the job on site, generate the invoice, and send it to the client before heading to your next job. The client can then view and pay their invoice online. If the job wasn't approved in the checkout process, it'll appear in the awaiting approval tab of the invoicing page, and the relevant person can review and approve it separately. If a client pays online by ServiceMate Pay, the payment will be automatically added to the job. If they pay via other means, such as direct bank transfer, you will need to manually add this payment. Option C, invoicing off-site after job completion. For certain jobs or junior staff members, it may not be appropriate to finalize and send the invoice on site, as it might need to be reviewed by someone else first. In these cases, you can check out of the job on site, mark it as complete, Tap out a note, add the items you've used, switch produce invoice off, then finish. If you don't have access to billing or the ability to add materials, you'll still be able to check out and add a note. This will update the job status to completed, causing the job to appear in the awaiting approval tab of the invoicing page. The responsible person can then finalize the invoice, send it off to the client, then approve it. If you need to change an invoice's date, click Customize Invoice, select a new date, then Send. So, we've covered off the key points of ServiceMate's invoicing workflow and how it's possible to invoice, take payment, and approve details through to your accounting software, both on-site and back in the office. Keep in mind that you don't need to do it one single way for every job. Some jobs you might be able to invoice and take payment on site, whereas others might need to be reviewed back in the office. It's flexible so you can build an invoicing workflow to suit your business.